Welcome to 1871, Chicago's new digital startup hub, uh, where we have opening acts tonight. Uh, we have a great one tonight. We have Hunter Hillemeyer, the co-founder of Overdog. Hunter, great to have you. Some of you may recognize Hunter from his days playing as a Chicago Bear and now as a Chicago entrepreneur. So glad to have you here. Welcome, Hunter. Thanks. Uh, as always, to try and disclose uh, any conflict, uh, as some of you know I chair the uh, Chicago Ventures new fund, and this is one of our investments. Uh, kind of gives me a front row seat to see the companies that are most exciting to fund uh, with Chicago Ventures, which is the leading seed stage fund here in town. And uh, this is a recent investment ours, one we're really excited about and excited to share with the Chicago startup community. So for those who haven't had a chance to experience Overdog Hunter, how would you best describe what it is? Sure. Th this is the largest I've ever seen our logo. And in fact, I have a t-shirt on that is our old logo. So very much uh, still a company that's finding its way and, and, and in the weeds. Overdog at its simplest uh, is a matchmaking app for gamers. So uh, we've got a younger audience here. Sometimes we describe it as Tinder for gamers, where we take every data point we know about you, the kinds of TV you watch, your favorite movies, music, athletes, any form of entertainment, and we take all of those into an algorithm that basically becomes your gaming DNA and then use that to find you better connections for whatever video game you're about to go play. About just six weeks ago, we launched an Xbox One app. So anybody in the room who's a gamer, especially if you have an Xbox One, you can go download our app. Um, and it's a very simple process where people use Overdog to get connected to find a better person for whatever video game they're about to go play. That's cool. That, those of you who are at, who's the founders of George Boosters from Raise.com? Anybody here? That was a great one. It was fantastic. George admitted that uh, he, uh, he funded the beginning of Raise from his high school days as a gamer. His parents thought he was just studying a lot at night and staying at friends' houses on weekends as he was <laughs> traveling the country. So those of you who saw it know you can appreciate it. So where did the idea come from? Yeah, so Overdog actually started out as a mobile app that was focused almost exclusively on one primary thing. We would connect fans with their favorite athletes to play video games. So you could jump on and play Madden or Call of Duty with Lance Briggs or Matt Forte or any other athlete that you might cheer for. And, and that actually went really well in that we had about 400 pro athletes across every major sport and even some more esoteric ones that were using the app to connect with fans. And we saw from that that we were actually getting really powerful data about the behaviors of the fans themselves, that, that once you know that a person likes these three people on the Chicago Bears and the LA Lakers and this sports team, that, that you develop this really useful profile that could actually help fans find a better connection to other fans as well. We rolled that feature in and it became so powerful and immediately so sticky that we started taking that experience to the consoles themselves. Uh, Xbox was the first one who sort of fully bought into the process. That was about a year ago, and we immediately went to work building a native app on the console, which for people who aren't familiar with the console world, there's now about 100,000 apps on iOS or Android. Wow. There's 30 apps on the Xbox, and so just by virtue of the small number of people that are a, a member of that club, Overdog sits in there next to ESPN, Netflix, basically a bunch of household names, and and from a discovery standpoint, that's been a, a huge advantage in terms of the, the flow of users we've gotten, even when we're just a young kind of six-week-old app on the Xbox platform. Cool. So what can you say about traction six weeks in? 75,000 downloads. which, wow. which 75,000 downloads. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and so to, to go from talking about how we think people will behave and then immediately having this fire hose of feedback from users it's great. I mean, it's, it's an overwhelming problem to have in some ways because you, you get 300 suggestions and everyone thinks they're certain about what the right thing to do is and this is exactly what needs to be finished next. Your product team is sort of overwhelmed with suggestions, but to have real feedback and to have actual users that are helping you improve your product it is, it is a super exciting phase to be in. With and what's the next... What's the next chapter of the company focused on? What's it about? Yeah, we actually had a board meeting last week, and because we've gotten out of the gate fast, we've immediately started hearing from other platforms. Um, PlayStation 4, there's a very large PC gaming community called Steam. 
And these are all platforms that have many tens of e even hundreds of millions of gamers on them. And really, like, at some point here in the next few months, we'll have to face a strategic decision of, at some point, do we, like, stay focused on Microsoft and build for their ecosystem exclusively? Windows 10 comes out in the fall. There's been a lot of announcements about what they're trying to do with that that sort of aligns well with what Overdog is. Or do we become this gaming platform that connects gamers for online multiplayer games wherever they're playing those? iPhone, tablet, PC gaming, consoles. And I think that with what you're seeing in the virtual reality world, uh, just a million other instances, Amazon, Comcast, all of these people in the gaming industry, it has such a massive tailwind that, that part of what we're trying to do is make sure that we're building the tracks out there in the direction that the industry's going. That's cool. So a lot, lot of exciting things. What's the big long-term vision? What do you hope this could be someday? Yeah, I, I mean, at its simplest, the pain that we're solving is that there, there are hundreds and hundreds of millions of people, uh, even just in the U.S., but definitely worldwide, that play online video games every day. That can happen on your phone, that can happen on a console, that can happen on your computer. And if you, if you end up with a bad opponent, it can ruin that experience. And Overdog is replacing a fairly general pain point, literally like the biggest pain point for online gamers is that when you end up with somebody that's unpleasant to play with, you don't want to come back. And so Overdog's vision is to improve that process and find people better opponents for video games anywhere that they want to play them. And the, the untapped potential there in terms of new markets will be addressing that for years to come. Well, it's really exciting. Thanks for sharing it with us. What an exciting story. Look forward to seeing the next How Far Falls. Thanks. Thanks, Hunter.